everyone, welcome back to GQs in Pilates. I'm Gabby. Today I'm going to show you some variations of the shoulder bridge. The shoulder bridge is a great way to get your lower back stronger because it gets your hamstrings, your glutes working and even your lower back stabilizers. All you need to do is lay down. So we're going to lay down on our Pilates neutral position without any pillow. You're going to make sure your feet are a bit close towards your bum hands next to the hips, chin tucked in, and your rib cage aligned with your pelvis so that it's equal from the front and it is to the back. We're engaging our lovely centers, taking a deep breath in and breathe out, bring those tailbones up, moving nice and controlled. Coming up, hold for about one to two seconds, coming down, moving first your upper back, then your lower back, then your bum hits the ground. So you take a deep breath in for your nose, breathe out to prepare, and we're just moving one foot at a time. I recommend doing this six times, so we're going to do four more after this just to get those back muscles working. It's also a great way if you are quite a strong person to start off as a warm-up, just get your back loosening up. But if you are struggling, just go as many times as you can. But people always ask me, how far up do you go? Well, when you come up, the furthest point is where your rib cage is aligned with your pelvis. Because if you overgo, you're overextending that back of yours, and then can you see that it's not aligned? You should have your knees aligned to your hips to your shoulders. Coming down, nice and controlled. Perfect, let's do one more. So you just bring your tailbone up, making sure you're engaging the center and that you're not going over extending. Coming down, nice and controlled. When you've just done that, just bring your knees to your chest just because you've just done a low back extension. So it's nice to do a nice little stretch afterwards. So that's a shoulder bridge level one. To variate it, we're going to add a few little things. So if you are struggling with that exercise, then we're just going to add a small little ball. We can add a pillow or a block or anything you've got at home. And you're going to squeeze that muscle through. So it squeezes and it makes your inner thighs work. Try doing, just bring your tailbone up again, just the way we've just done. Hold for about one to two seconds and then coming down nice and controlled. Keep going, this is the exercise for you. Now, we're gonna add time and a little bit of a twist as well. So as we're gonna come up, we're gonna add hip dip. So with your left hip, you're gonna dip it down to the ground and then bring it back up. Then you're gonna go for your right, going down to the ground, bring it back up. We're doing 10, so that's one on the left, two on the right, and continue. It's a great way to get your bum and your low back working together. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> Coming down nice and controlled. Bring your knees to your chest just to get that back a bit more happy. Put the ball to the side and we're just stretching it nice. You can even add a little bit of a rotation, look at the sideways going, right and left, good. We're going to now do a shoulder bridge level two. So we're going to bring the tailbone up again, moving one vertebra at a time, keeping that nice alignment, and you're just going to straighten your left leg with the toes pointed. Coming back down, then the upper back down first, then the lower back, then the pelvis. Let's try that on the right leg. So you're going to bring your tailbone up, moving your vertebra one at a time. Right leg's going to straighten, toes pointed, really nicely. Hold for one to two seconds, bring it back down, and then slowly come down. If you find that your bum was sagging as your leg was going straight, push your arms down. They will get your lats working. We're gonna do six on the left, six on the right. 
But if you are struggling with that, then we're going to add a little ball. So we're going to bring tailbone up, nice and controlled. Put the ball underneath your lower back, just where the coccyx is. That way you can straighten your leg, but still getting your back a little bit supported. But keep the left leg and the right knee parallel with each other, and then do the right leg. Find that was too easy, just stick to level two shoulder bridge, the one we've just done without the ball. But this is a good way to get your leg muscles working with the back. And the ball will add a little bit of balance as well. If you just take your time, just moving these legs, controlling it. Great. And don't forget to breathe. I'm just going to place the ball. So we've just done level one shoulder bridge. Level two, shoulder bridge. Now I'm going to show you level three. You're going to bring your tailbone up, nice and controlled, pushing those arms down. Now I want you, with your left leg, to point it again, keep it parallel, bring it back. But we're not bringing the back down. We are going to bring the right leg straight. And we're doing a nice six. So doing two, two, Three, three, keep that bum up, no sagging. Four, four, five, make sure you're breathing. Five, last one each side, six, and magic number six. Slowly bring your upper back down first, lower back, then your bum. And then he needs to just chest the end just to counteract it. A lot of people that I see, they kind of give up at the ending and they just sag down very quickly. But control every movement you've got. Brilliant. Adding a little bit of a rotation. Now we're going to add shoulder bridge level four. So you really need to have a good core when you're doing level four. Okay? So same position, hands next to the hips, pushing down, tailbones up, bring the bum up for me. We're going to straighten the left leg, touching down, palm still stays up, then going up, knee straight, coming down, coming up. And I recommend doing about six if you can handle it. But we're making sure we're breathing in and out, nice and controlled. If you struggle with that but you want to try, you can use a ball, place it on the coccyx, but a little bit more on the right side, just so you can bring the left tapping and coming up, just so you can still work at a variation, but do what your body lets you do. Putting the ball behind, and then we just do six on the right. So you're going to straighten your right leg, tapping down, keep that bum up, push those arms down, that's two, breathing in, breathing out, three, four, keep that right knee straight, five, and magic number six. Bring it back, now slowly bring the upper back down first, then your lower back, and just bring your knees to your chest, and have a breather. <laughs> We're just breathing in for the nose. Out for the mouth. Lovely. Coming up nice and controlled. We've just done shoulder bridges, a few different levels, a bit of variations, but try them out. See which one you prefer. But it's a great way to get your lower back stronger and working a bit of the bum and the hamstrings.